Welcome back, this is part two of moving with all my animals and moving the entire reptile room. I'm in the new place, this is the new place, but yeah, you gotta watch the video to see that. Click up here for part one, enjoy. Ah, uh, so now the part that actually sucks, I have to take these, like the decorations or the backings that I put in the enclosures off because there are screws behind them holding the two sets of racked enclosures together. That includes the cork bark on these, these cages over here, there's one for the Cape Cobras down there, and then the Runkholz one over here. Yeah, not so stoked about that. Okay, finally, after taking apart a bunch of things, I found the screws, and this rack is now loose. It is free, so it can freely move. What I'm going to do is we've got like a, a shop trolley that we will slide underneath there, and then get the... Get it around so we can kind of lift it on the trolley and wheel it out onto the back of the trailer. Obviously all the snakes will be out of the enclosures. But there, I've got that one loose. Now I've got to get all these loose. But also I need to screw like the tops and the bottoms in together properly. Because they only got short little screws holding them together just so they don't slide around. But now they're going to be a bit under pressure when they lean forward to carry. Excuse me, so I need to give them a bit of like a bit more support with longer screws That's super cool. The corn snake just shed, but it's time again for like the 25th hundred time to Undo this floor again. I did it like five times because I laid it down and then I had to Oh, I forgot to put the underfloor heating in and then yeah, so on and so forth I've done it quite a few times, but now I got to take it out quickly because I got to go to the other side um, and put it down before you get the cages there so let's do that now. So as you can see behind me here we have the underfloor heating that helped me control the temperature in the room so that's why it's a climate controlled room but underneath that we have a plastic layer for waterproofing so water doesn't come up from the ground because that's what we had an issue with in this facility but also so I can just clean it out and keep everything nice and sterile so once we taken all the mats off then we can take these off so on and so forth I don't think I mentioned but there is a thick layer of high density polystyrene underneath the whole room on the floor and the ceiling insulating everything to keep it nice and cozy for the animals so I can keep the temperature at whatever temperature I so choose to if you hear chainsaw in the background yeah there's a lot going on at the moment so sorry about that weird angle I know but you can see this is one of the heat mats that's on the floor for the underfloor heating that's the other one over there and I've ripped up most of the mats except the ones the cages are on so I need to move those cages so I can rub up the mats move them back uh, back and forth that's how it goes but yes I also need to move these mats up now because when we are moving these cages out in a rack or so standing with a lot of weight on these mats will actually destroy them so I got to take them up before I can actually move any of the cages whatsoever because I don't want to destroy the underfloor heating obviously. Time to get Murphy in that tube. Let's get him out wherever he is. And now to get Murphy out. He's out and now I've got to handle him nice and calmly. As you can see, I am just trying to coerce him to get into his dark little tunnel over there. Staying calm and collective the whole time. He just shed, so he's looking particularly handsome at the moment. Such a stunning snake. But obviously you won't see that on camera because... Uh, get him into the tube. See if you're going... Nope. They never go into the tubes when you want them to go in. It's kind of weird, but... Yeah, they weird snakes, but they also I love them too, but Okay, go in, go in, go in, go in. Nope. Why does he want to go into the cages? It's very strange that when you want a snake to do something, it'll never do it, but when you don't want it to do it, that's exactly what it's gonna do. There you go. Tap him, tap him, tap him, tap him. Notice how I put the lid on. And there we go, we got Murphy in. He is so pretty at the moment. He just shed, as you can see. This was his shed from yesterday. Pretty cool. So yes, the room is a complete and utter mess. But as you can see there, there's no more cages over here. 
got the cages onto the back of the bucky. Whoa, hold up. You won't know what a bucky is. A bucky is basically a pickup truck. It's just what we call pickup trucks in South Africa. As well as taking out my work desk. So there's the first load to go tonight. And then we'll do the rest tomorrow just so it's a little bit less stressful tomorrow and now we got those cages off of this mat so I can roll them uh, under floor heating up before we take those cages down because those are a lot heavier. Don't you love it when you can literally phone up your friend last minute and get a bunch of tubs from them because you need to pack some snakes away. I'd love it and that's why you have to have friends in this industry. You have to be a tight woven community. Needless to say, this is not a day I've been looking forward to whatsoever, but it's got to get done. So let's start by packing the snakes because now I've got to take the decorations down. I was hoping I would be able to leave the plants and the decorations in the enclosures, but I don't think I will be able to because if the stuff moves around, it's going to break the glass and then, yeah, that's not going to be good for either me or the snakes. It's crazy. Everything I built up, literally trying to tear it down within two days. Two days! So, snakes are bagged in those boxes. Plants are all out. Still have to get out the rest of the decorations. And I haven't screwed the top and bottom into each other yet because I accidentally left the screwdriver at the new house. So we got to do a load of like this stuff to the new house and then we'll fetch that and then screw these together and then go back again. Okay, so this is the echoey room that is my reptile room slash bedroom so far. Snakes are all over the floor right now. There's things everywhere, but everything's going to be okay. All the plants are here. I must actually put on the light for the plants and yeah, let's do that now. Um, obviously, I haven't got the big snakes in or the main enclosures in yet that will be this room over here which is nice so i have two rooms now which is freaking epic okay so in this overexposed room i've got the mats on the floor got to put the mats over this carpet otherwise if the snakes poop on the carpet nothing is going to go right because cleaning poop off a carpet is not the most fun thing to do okay so it's time to do the rest of the cages. My dad's actually busy screwing everything in together while we empty out some of the stuff. And yeah, let's get to that time lapse. So we started off with the end enclosure as this would be the most accessible to get our fingers underneath and lift up and shimmy across. Although we don't have much headroom to lift it up in fact, what did turn out being a bit of an issue was lifting up the enclosures and then as we put them down, it would sink straight into the polystyrene and the underfloor heating which wasn't so easy to work with because it was harder to lift up but we were able to manage and get the first one out. Okay so the first rack of cages is on. Sadly the middle ones they're pulling apart. The chipboard has broken through which sucks but um, but we'll manage and we've learned this is the first one. The next ones will be easier from here on out. Look at that. First four, another 12 to go. Okay, so like that, the cages are in the reptile room. Super stoked, some of them broke along the way, but nothing we can't fix and can't redo. It's a bit dark in here. So now we gotta just set up the cages, rewire a bunch of stuff, and then get the snakes in. So Izzy's gonna help me with some of the venomous stuff first. So, great to have friends. And all you see here is two guys hanging out cleaning two snake cages because that's what one does, right? Well, setting them up. It took us a bit of time to find all the decor parts, but we were able to do it just fine. Welcome back, guys! You're Got back with another video today. Got the water. Just like a master stew chef. <laughs> Easy handling the deadly Cape Cobra. Quite that, calm, eh? that one's a very calm snake. Do you want to show it to the camera? Yeah, show you the camera. Huh? Calm little Cape Cobra. Just don't let him go under yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Little Cape Cobra and a good friend. What more do you need? <laughs>
I thought we were. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay, that's Puff had a poop. Let me clean that up. Izzy is going to put it in there, but I gotta clean the poop up. There is so much still to do, so I don't really have time to fill. The construction site here is broken, so it's under construction for Beth's enclosure. She's in here for now. The Cape Cobras are in, the Puff Adder's in. We just gotta get some of the ball pythons in and get everything sorted. But yeah, I'll get back to you when I've made quite a few big, bigger changes.